uh, you know, I, I don't know if this is helpful. I, th I look, Warren Buffett is smarter than I am, and he has read an awful lot more than I am, and he's probably an awful lot more harder working. And those are all things that I can't change. I think that um, one question that is really worth asking that I don't know why it took me so long to figure out is, and I think it was asked by Warren first, is, is the moat getting wider or narrower? Uh, and just asking that question, and at what rate is it getting wider or narrower? If you I think there's a lot of sort of a second order margin of safety in investing in a moat that's clearly getting wider. And then if you ask, you know, in something like, uh, in, in any business, is is a new uh, development a tailwind or not? Monish just identified how driverless cars, with a, as they get safer and safer, will actually be a negative for Geico's business, um, and over what time span they emerge. Then we can answer a lot of questions. And you know, I, I also don't think that uh, you should rule out that you or any one of your contemporaries will uncover business moats, widening and profound business moats sooner than the rest of us. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll just give you two examples. There's a business uh, called uh, Horsehead Holdings that uh, I don't think that it had a pretty wide, it, I think it's got a growing moat. And it's something that uh, many people aren't aware of because it's kind of been growing over the last 20 years. I'll leave you to do the research and figure it out. Or another company that only emerged recently called VeriSign. And VeriSign seems to have an incredible moat around a very unusual business, which is internet registrations. So these things do appear from time to time, and there's no reason why we have to wait for Warren to uncover them. They may be occurring in smaller industries, uh, and we're on the only ones positioned to find them. So I don't think one should give up on that. 